Hi everybody, this is Connie. I thought I would come on today and do a uh, uh, what I've got on my face today and give you a little update on me. I, um, as you all know, I, as most of you know anyway, I lost my job on Friday. I had a pretty rough day. I um, came on here and did kind of a weepy, <laughs> uh, right out bawling video <laughs> telling you guys about it, but I, it was ca kind of cathartic for me. It really did help me. And I tell you what, all of the responses that I got, that was my most watched video. I got uh, quite a few subscribers over the deal. I, thank you. I mean, I don't know what else to say, but thank you. From the bottom of my heart, what for all the kind words and all the emails and the generous things that you did for me, uh, thank you so much. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys. I really can't. It really shows the generosity of the human spirit. It shows um, how kind you people are. And believe me, when I get on my feet, I will pay it forward. I always have in the past, and I will again. And I will get back on my feet. It might take me a while. You know, I'm 60 years old. It, it took me a long time to find this job. And uh, I did want to clear up a couple of things. I told you in the video the other day that it was my 90-day um, probationary meeting, and that's where they let me go. And it, it was my 90-day. I was hired on full time, full time with them three months earlier, but I did work for them for over three months prior to that. I started working for them the first part of June of last year, so I did work for them for over six months. But the first part of it was through a temp agency, which um, I don't know if that hurt me or not. I really honestly don't. I mean, they got me the job. They got me the work. I'm forever thankful for them, and I will go back to them and talk to them about everything and, and stuff. But uh, I have not applied for any help yet. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I, um, I planned on doing a lot of things today. It is now... Uh, let me get my phone here. Sorry. I want to see what time it is. It is now 10.18 at night. I planned on this morning getting my butt out of bed, getting a shower, getting my makeup on, doing all these videos. I have a lot of videos to do today. Um, I'll be up most of the night doing them, I'm sure. But um, I couldn't sleep last night, so I... I was still awake about at four something. I remember looking at the clock at four something. And I slept in my chair, um, which is the most comfortable for my back recently. Um, I find if I sleep in my bed, I toss and turn a lot, and I don't in my, in my recliner. So I think that helps me get more restful sleep. Uh, anyway, I woke up today and I thought, wow, you know, it's light out, but it doesn't seem like I've slept a lot. Well, I looked at the clock, and it said 3.40. And I thought, that can't be right. It's not dark out. I had slept all day long. Could you believe that? Um, I, I know I must have needed it um, with everything that, I've been feeling and and the tremendous weight on me and and all that you know the the emotions and and all this and that I um, couldn't believe it I had slept probably ten hours at least uh, without waking up which is very unusual for me I rarely get up to go to the bathroom at night rarely but I do toss and turn a lot and I wake up every time I roll over. So, I'm just, I'm amazed at that. I still am. I'm, I'm still sh just shaking my head like, what happened to the day? <laughs> so anyway, I goofed around. I ate supper. I talked to my mom. I, you know, this and that. And, and then I uh, got myself up, got in the shower, got my makeup on, and now here I am. So, uh, I'm feeling... 
I can't say I'm feeling a lot better, but I am feeling a bit better. Uh, reading all your comments, replying to your comments, um, thinking about what you've said, that has helped me a lot. And I do, again, want to tell you thank you. But anyway, let's get to the purpose of this. Uh, like I said, I've got a lot of videos to do today. Uh, I've got uh, a Christmas haul. I've got um, two new series that I, well, one that I already started, kind of. But I've got two new series I want to start that are not beauty related. I've got um, a haul that I did the day after Christmas, which, if I would only known, you know, you know how that goes. And um, my mom gave me a little bit of money, and I spent that foolishly, too. So here we go with the first video of the day. And this is the makeup that I've got on today. I did not do a makeup of the week because um, it had been two weeks since I did it, and I was just getting too much stuff. And, and I thought, well, I'm, I'll just scrap it for this week. And I do have something I'd kind of like to do um, once I get working again. Um, I don't wear makeup every single day that I don't work so I, it doesn't make any sense to do a makeup of the day so anyway or makeup of the week I'm sorry but the first thing I put on today was um, this is my favorite primer I have found ever ever and this is um, I just got this last month this is spackle uh, tinted under makeup primer um, ethereal is the color and it's from Laura Geller and a, a tiny dab will do you I believe, you know but I do recommend this guys it is awesome I love it if any other buddy anybody else uses this let me know um, what you think of it because I love it okay and then I thought I would try I got this in a um, a swap from Kim and it is Tarte uh, light medium neutral light to medium skin with yellow and pink undertones Amazonian clay full coverage airbrush foundation and that's what the thing looks like you open it up I've never used this kind of makeup before the uh, powder foundation and I think it looks pretty good I don't know um, tell me what you think but here is the like a it's almost like a sponge in there that you just put your brush in and um, you get powder and let me get you in closer here you can see my makeup of the day so there's my well my blush and my highlighter and my um, powder foundation okay and then I went and I used my NYX this is my favorite my NYX see if I can get it to focus um, this is um, brow mascara that is is all I ever use you guys know that if you want won't watch me a while and that's what the spoolie looks like and it's just big enough um, it could actually be just a tiny bit smaller but it's just big enough let's put you out just a tiny bit just big enough where um, you know I can do my brows comfortably with this so I absolutely love this stuff mascara I used I just realized I didn't put on any eyeliner but that's okay I don't wear it all the time I like it a little bit on the bottom but that's okay uh, Smashbox full exposure and I just got this recently and I really really like it I think it does nice things to my eyebrows but um, this is what it looks like. I, I kind of like, I tend to like the big um, spoolies on mascaras. But um, anyway, I really do like this. And, and this is in, it's really black, so I don't know. Jet black. Okay. I used, okay, uh, let's go to eyeshadow first. I used my Tarte, um, I believe this is Rainforest, Rainforest After Dark. okay and I'll show you what I used I used this one all over my um, eyelid then I used this one on my uh, eyelid and I used this in the center of my eyelid you know you guys know that I do like a pop of gold 
on my eyelids. You know, for, for um, I don't know, just for effect, I don't know. And then I used the blush also, which is gorgeous. That is, let's see here. Let's see if I can see the colors. I don't know if I can read this very well. Let's see if I got this right. Unleashed is the, the blush. Um, Park Avenue Princess. I guess that that I used all over my eyelid was the bronzer. <laughs> and um, I used the champagne, the highlighter, in the corner of my eyes and underneath my eye or brow. And then the um, it's plum away with me is the purple. And the up to no gold is the gold tint that I used. Okay, so that's that. I used um, for the blush. And then I used the new color pop that I got in my uh, BFF box. It's uh, Super, Sh Super Shock Cheek Stole the Show is what it's called. And I had quite a time with that because everything... Now, using it was fine today. Isn't that beautiful? But it's so soft. So pretty. So, so pretty. I really do like ColourPop stuff. I wish I could afford to get more. Um, okay. Oh, concealer. I use this um, NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer, and I hate it. I hate it. This is in the color Porcelain, and um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I ha it took me forever. First of all, I just put my finger, I put a brush in there and tried to use a brush. That didn't work. So I put my finger in there and I used it, and it is the hardest thing to blend. It just will not blend for me. I don't know. Um, it took me forever. And then I finally used my Beauty Blender, um, dampened it just a little bit and used it, and it, and it worked okay. But it still, it's so hard to blend. I, I just, I hate this stuff. And if anybody wants it, I'll be giving it away. So, anyway, um, and then for lipstick, I believe I've said everything else. I used my Bite Beauty, which I have hardly ever used these. Um, it's the four-pack that, that I got for, oh, quite a while ago. It was in, oh, probably three, four months ago, I suppose. But it is, I don't know if I can read this or not, the color. Because it's entirely... Coolis, C-O-U-L-I-S, I believe. And it's a very pretty red. Very pretty, I think. So anyway, that is the makeup that I have on today. That is the, um, whoops, the little um, update on me that um, a few of you have been asking me to update you and I will keep you updated um, I will try to get on here tomorrow night and let you know how my day went uh, at job service and unemployment and um, all that I did a lady came and talk or came online and talked to me about um, working doing some home health stuff uh, I really don't know what it's about but I'm gonna go have a meeting on Tuesday with these people and see if um, some of those people work 40 hours a week, and it's minimum wage. It's $8.25 an hour, $8.50, whatever minimum wage is now. I don't even know, which is a lot less, not a lot less, but less than I was making, but at least it's something. Um, going into to old folks' homes, uh, not doing any medication. They don't do any medi medical stuff at all like some of the other places do, but... Um, from what I understand, it's just um, going into their home, maybe cooking a meal or two, maybe um, just keeping them company for a little while, um, maybe steadying them when they walk, um, stuff like that. Uh, it's no lifting, nothing like that, um, which I can't do. I can't lift at all. And we'll see how that meeting goes. Um, she thought Tuesday, anyway. So, 
um, I will let you go for this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys. I love you guys so much.